welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time, we, uh, came to Malachor and crashed our ship yet again. I think that's like the fourth time in the game you've crashed the ship. At least it wasn't shot down this time, we just... I guess just Atten's not a very good pilot. This is the battlefield that, uh, essentially your main character had, uh, some problems with in the past. Um, but, uh, there's not a whole lot here now. There's a couple of these Hulk... I... Hulk is maybe the wrong term, but um, little pieces of wreckage of Republic ships that are sort of sitting around here, and uh, there's not really very much you can do with them at this point. This first area, um, I do want to make sure to um, completely clear it. It may not be necessary to do it completely, but there are... Uh, there are, there's a very good reason to essentially be thorough here. Um, there's some useless loot, but, you know, I, I don't really need anything at this point. There, there are a couple of items I, I, I guess I could theoretically want, but there's nothing that important. That Barab Warring gets a nice uh, lightsaber upgrade part, but, you know, it's not going to make any big differences. Speaking of lightsabers, I guess I should use mine. These storm beasts here are new enemies. They're uh, not particularly interesting. They're just physical attackers. They just walk up to you and hit you. Um, they're not particularly dangerous, though they do have a fair number of hit points. Oh, I guess I should be using force enlightenment instead of force speed. The reason why we're clearing out this area entirely is that we'll come back here later, um, and we'll come back here using a different character, so I, I wanted to just clear it on this character because, well, this is definitely my most potent character of anything I have in the party. There's some, I don't know, cameo type appearance appearances that uh, take place in this area, but mostly it's just your main character. There are... this is the last sort of solo sequence of the game, but there's a certain part of it where it doesn't make sense that it's solo. And one of the things in this game is you do have to... I guess they have that little stun wave attack, which doesn't work very well. But the Storm Beast, that is. Um, You have to have, when you're building your character in this game, you have to build a character that's not exclusively a support character. You have to be able to do things yourself. I don't know how you would actually build a character that being capable of being effective. Um, I suppose if you took all your feats and plus skill, uh, you might have problems. But, you know, it'd be, oh, that's where I want to go in the end. So, I want to make sure I clear out the area first. You could theoretically have issues. I don't know. Again, this game's not that hard. Um, it's one of the things that... No, I guess I haven't done. Um, it's one of the things that they really could have done better with it, is that there are just way too many ways to, to really be powerful. The crafting system, while interesting, in that you know, it gives all those skills, additional uses and all that, uh, is really, in many ways, overpowered. I mean, it just what you can do with weapons in this game as far as base damage is, is really ridiculous. Anyway, that's the first area. Now we head on into the Malachor Depths. If the Exile has come here, then she has not come alone. Of course, the Huntress. The Huntress is with the Exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense but not the creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. And Kreia set this up a long time ago. I don't know really the, the full motivation well, of it. But... Here's a surprise. Yet another slice of galactic paradise. 
Why can't we ever go to Alderaan or Ithor or some place without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty beasts? Because there wouldn't be anything to kill there. Of course. Yeah, um... We're gonna have a final, final showdown with Hanmar. But, uh... We go back to our main character briefly here. Oh, I guess that, that wasn't quite the end of this area. Here's the entrance to the depths, but don't want to go there quite yet. And here's the second Republic ship. There are four of them total. Those are the main thing I want to make sure I essentially clear paths to, because that's where we're going to be going later. Alright. Into the depths. Honhar. And he doesn't believe you're a Jedi. And, uh, you know, you have always been prey, blah, blah, blah. I don't like Hanhar as a character. And he says there's no bounty hunter troops to protect you here, and, you know, he's... He's unhappy. He's like an angsty teenager. And... He uh, kind of missed my neck when he was throat grabbing me there. Mm. I guess he's a little bit dangerous, but. And he asks you to kill him. And, uh. You can try and release him from the life dead. And it doesn't work, of course. And, uh, you know, we could say we won't kill him. And you can tell him you can give him a chance to, uh, stop being a slave. Choose to not be a slave. A slave, and end their debt that way. And, uh, more or less, you know, lead me to Kraya. And he agrees. Not that you can actually gain light side or dark side points for being nice, but... Here's the next area here. Alright. Now... I'm gonna use my blasters a little bit here, just for variety. This is, area is almost exactly the same as the last one. I mean, the, the map is different, but... It's the same set of enemies. I guess there are a couple more of them here. Um... But, um... Now, even without the close combat feat, which, or actually really any of the feats which make blasters better, you can still be perfectly effective using blasters. And I, to a certain extent, I don't mind using them just because, well, it means I don't have to run up to enemies all the time. I don't think Juyo, this lightsaber form, which normally gives another attack, I don't think that works with uh, blasters. I think that only works with uh, lightsabers. One thing that's probably worth noting is that uh, things like critical shots don't work with master speed. You uh, only get the number of attacks that you would normally have base rather than 
uh, the number of attacks that you, you're supposed to be getting with the bonuses. Uh, I, th I think it has something to do with the way the animation works. There's something I didn't want to show you firing more shots. So. And I gained another level, but... Maybe uh, just for variety. Oh, I'll just gain this level on screen. Um, I'll take a couple more ranks of Persuade just for the fun of it. I really don't need anything skill-wise anymore. I do have the basic Force Deflection. I'm going to pick up Shock just for the fun of it. And uh, Maybe a little out of character for Light Side Jedi to be using Shock, but you know, hey. At this point, I'm just looking for a little variety in the game. Because I, I have all the Force powers I could really want. I have actually some Force powers I've never used. I picked up that uh, force, po force Resistance feat, which you can use against Darth Nihilus, but there's not much point. Die so quickly by normal methods that def you know adequately defending yourself is really not that... A not a big deal. Anyway, this next area will be slightly different, and I'll leave it for the next episode, because we're out of time. So, when, we're when we come back, we uh, continue to explore Malachor.